Hi children, welcome to today's session. Hope all are safe at home. Do you remember our Raja? Where is he now? Yes, he is in the loft of the cow shed. After that beautiful shower, he took shelter in the loft of the cow shed. See, grandmother was really worried. He couldn't find him anywhere in the house. Let us check what happened to him. The news spread. Hey, what's the news? Let's check. Then grandfather stood up and went outside and called aloud. Come Raja, come. I won't beat you. But I did not answer him. For I thought that he would beat me. See, now grandfather also worried. So he stood up and went outside then called aloud. Raja, come. I won't beat you. Grandfather said. But Raja did not want to answer him because he thought grandfather would beat him. Grandmother was angry and said, he won't come. You draw him away. He, I heard you say that you would beat him. See, here grandmother angry with grandfather and she said, you would draw him away. I heard when you say, if you come back, I'll teach you a lesson and I would beat you. If he came home, poor child, he is afraid of you and as he has run away, grandmother said. Grandfather called the servants and asked them to go out and look for me. They went out but after a while returned to stay that they would not find me. Grandmother started weeping. Grandfather started walking up and down the courtyard. See children? What happened? Grandfather called all the servants and asked them to go out and find Raja. They went out but after a while they returned and say they couldn't find Raja. See, grandmother started crying. Grandfather became worried and he walking up and down the courtyard. The news that I was missing spread. Look children, that's the news. What Raja was missing. Our neighbors came first, then our relatives and then others who had heard the bad news. See, what was the bad news? Raja was missing. Then what happened? Neighbors first, then the relatives. Everybody came to their home. Many came to offer their sympathies to grandmother. See, grandmother began to cry. Then the relatives and neighbors, they offer their sympathies, their kind-heartedness towards grandmother. Grandfather did not like this. He shouted, Nothing has happened to the boy. He is hiding somewhere. Can't some of you go out and find him instead of wasting your time here? Some of them went out to search for me. See, Grandfather did not like these neighbors and relatives' sympathies towards Grandmother. He shouted, See, nothing happened to Raja. Please go and search him instead of wasting your time here. See, some of them went out and searched Raja. Here, Raja could see all these things from the loft of the cow shed. <laughs> really interesting. Huh? More and more people came and soon there was a big crowd. By now, grandmother had lost all hope of seeing me again. She started telling the people what a good boy I was. The search parties returned without finding me. Grandmother started weeping loudly. The women in the crowd also wept. The servants of the house joined in the wailing. They caught, all acted as if I were dead. See what happened? More and more people came to Raja's house. After, after some time, there was a big crowd. By now, grandfather, mother had lost all her hopes. See Raja again. She started telling the people, Oh, what a good boy was my Raja. See, the search parties returned home without finding Raja. Grandmother started crying loudly. The women in the crowd also gave company to grandmother. See, the servants of the house joined in the wailing, joined in that crying. See, all these people acted as if Raja were dead, he said. Huh? I felt sorry for grandmother. I wanted to come out. At this time, when she is crying, our Raja said, I felt sorry for grandmother. I wanted to come out. He wanted to come out this time. Grandfather was a man of strong will, but I knew that he too felt very sad. 
he did not however lose hope he stood up turned in the direction of a family temple and prayed help me god he said give me my child i want him now i cannot wait any longer he then stood silent in prayer see what happened this time grandfather also lost hope and he stood up turned his direction of their family temple and prayed god please help me give me my child back i want him see at that moment uncle returned he learned what was happening at home he looked around and guessed where i was he came to the cowshed and asked me to come down i came down uncle took me into the house see what happened at that time uncle returned and learned what happening at home see see look around then he guessed where raja was maybe most of the time whenever he did such mischievous things he took shelter on that loft so uncle took me took raja from that cowshed and took him to the house grandfather had just finished his prayer and turned as he opened his eyes isomi is standing before him he took me up in his arms in joy hugged me and said god heard my prayers and has given you back to us children after completing his prayers and turned back uh, grandfather so raja with his uncle then he said oh god heard my prayers and has given my raja back he became very happy look children an incident from our raja's life hope you understood pause the video and read the textbook carefully then write the meanings of all these underlined words in your notebook okay children this is the answers of these questions grandmother felt angry with grandfather do you support grandmother why yes we support grandmother because raja is a small boy and he is afraid of his grandfather why did grandfather lost his temper grandfather lost his temper because relatives and neighbors made it a big issue where might the people have searched for raja why couldn't they find him the people searched for raja in the fields gardens or neighboring houses etc they couldn't find him because he was hiding in the cowshed i wanted to come out what prevented raja from coming out the fear of being beaten prevented from coming out what could raja say to his grandfather when he returned home when raja returned home he says sorry to his grandfather for what he had done okay children listen carefully then write it in your notebook children thanks for watching have a nice day